The Eugene City Council is currently addressing a number of issues in a public work session. Among those issues, the closure of Peace Health's Sacred Heart University District Hospital. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brandon Cameron. And I'm Kendall Bartley. Between shows, we were listening in on the session on that session, and it seems like they are definitely on more of a time crunch than we had thought. Yeah, again, this is live happening right now. There are a number of issues that are set to discuss, but the first one they are discussing is the closure of the University District Hospital. And as you mentioned, this time crunch, there are so many questions we've had regarding the closure mm -hmm. since it was announced a few weeks ago. The Eugene City Council has the same questions. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of, well, we're still trying to figure out, we're still trying to understand the impacts of. Uh, but one thing they did say, and this is new as far as what we've reported, is that Peace Health needs specific uh, waivers or, or approvals from mm -hmm. Oregon Health Authority in order to transfer some of their services over to Riverbend. That's been the plan all along, like the behavioral health unit uh, and, and other services just transferred over to Riverbend. Oregon Health Authority has to grant that approval. If they don't, then the hospital has basically told the city they may close everything altogether. Remember, mm -hmm. they had talked about how they were going to keep the behavioral health unit open for a certain period of time. Um, and they said that timeline that they need that answer from OHA is September 20th. That's nine days away. And so, uh, the, the, again, a bit of a time crunch here. There are a number of other things that we were getting. One thing that stood out to me was when Mike Caven, the fire chief mm -hmm. of Eugene Springfield Fire, said what we anticipate is kind of a log jam, and that's what we've been worried about from the beginning. Yeah, and you actually went out today because there was a press conference at University District Yeah, Hospital. that's right, and uh, Mayor Venice and other officials were at that press conference. Here's one thing that Mayor Venice said. I call on Governor Kotek and the Oregon Health Authority to force them to meet their obligations to provide health care to this community and deny this closure. Mayor Vinn is calling on Oregon Governor Tina Kotek and the Oregon Health Authority to stop Peace Health's plan to close its University District Hospital in Eugene. There was a lot of outrage on display in Eugene as nurses, social workers, and elected officials gathered outside the soon to close hospital to ask Peace Health to reverse its decision. They held a press conference in front of the hospital with Mayor Venice, Lane County Commissioner Lori Trieger, and others speaking out against Peace Health's move. They called on the Washington based company reverse its decision and by closing down these places where people come to heal where health care happens peace health is jeopardizing the entire community's health and safety and it is defying its mission and the public's trust in its promise to care for this community if an organization wants to be known for partnership and caring for community, it needs to show up that way everywhere, all the time. Even when the conversations get hard, even when the bottom line is at stake, in fact, especially then. I spoke with Mayor Venice shortly after the press conference and asked her what she hopes to gain by calling on the governor. My assumption is that by calling on the governor, she's the boss. Right, and if she says to OHA, you need to take this back to the drawing board and reconsider so this major metropolitan area is not without emergency care, but that carries weight. So we'll see how much weight it actually carries. But another note from this work session, which again is currently live in session, uh, is the city manager of Eugene said that they haven't gotten any sense that there is any way that Peace Health would consider staying. I think that's an important thing to note with this. Now, anyways, Peace Health did send us a statement reacting to, today, to today's protest with the following statement. Peace Health remains committed to Lane County both now and in the long term and plans to continue working with the Oregon Health Authority regarding the University District Hospital with the intent to continue serving patients at the inpatient behavioral health unit at University District, but as I said, uh, that could be up in the air if OHA doesn't approve uh, the plan to change. So you can follow more of our coverage of this on our website. Anyways, I was there at that protest with our KVAL News team as officials hosted this press conference, and I was providing a live video feed on our Facebook page so people could watch it live. Scan the QR code on the bottom left of your screen. That's going to take you directly to our Facebook page where we strive to keep you informed throughout the day on all the news happening in our region. Not only on Facebook, you can follow us on pretty much all of those social media accounts, X, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Just search at KVAL News.